Did you know Can of Wormholes has some custom worlds? Let's play it. So yeah, there are a bunch of concepts that the original game, like, despite the fact that it went meta, like, like, ten times, it hasn't explored everything, so I guess that's what this custom world is for. So we got a whole new color palette and stuff like that. Seems like this is a level where you tail up and then try to get to the left side. There ain't that much space to try to tail up. And what wall would you use after it happens anyway? I mean, I could tail up here, but I, I need to eat something as well. This is really strange because that suggests that you put a dot here or something. And then you bring this down. Because you need to eat this after the tail up, which suggests this kind of thing. But I'm not sure. Hold on. About the dot position, we we'll try this instead. And then we can have this happen later. I'll get it as close as possible. And then do this. There we go. Now, arrange this, push this here, and then try... There we go. We are slightly away from goodness, and one of the problems is where this is located, huh? Oh, never mind, we got it. Okay. Yes, okay. So that level isn't necessarily a new concept. Also, we got a nice new icon, a custom icon for this as well. So it really feels like it could be a main game world, right? I, I, I don't know. Well, we seem to have... Hmm, what is that? Why so big? And our, um, how long is our snake? Seems like it's the same length as the goal, unless I can't count. <laughs> so, we're just trying to make the biggest tail up or something that can... Hmm. And this can barely freaking move, too. Hmm. This dot is probably stuck here. This is the strangest thing I've seen. Like, the way this entire level is arranged is really strange to me. Like, the expectation is that there's going to be some mega flip that's really useful. Like, maybe one that can, um, cut for a dot. That barely misses it. Um, hmm. Hmm, what? I mean, if we're, one, like, exactly the length we need to be in the finish, that does kind of suggest that we eat the dot and then cut it later somehow, but... Just to make sure... No, we can't make it normally. This level is horribly not normal. <laughs> it's got your clearly impossibles um, just everywhere about this level. What's this platform for? Okay, I need to check there was no secret passage <laughs> on this. Seriously. Oh, I for- it's- oh my gosh, just realized it's probably Ouroboros. Oh my gosh, I forgot. I forgot that was a thing. <laughs> okay. Alright, but... We, we, what? What just happened? We just tailed up, but we just tailed up by ourselves? Okay. <laughs> wow, okay. Oh my gosh. We self tail up. Has that ever happened in the main game? I don't think so. Damn, that's a level. Okay, not nice. Next one. Got some nice candy cane worms. Interesting we're using candy cane worms, by the way. First the land froze over, I don't know. What? We Not allowed. No worms above head height. Come on, didn't you read the sign? Anyway, looks like we're making a tail up, maybe? We have limited space, of course, um, and could potentially move it upwards as well. We can go across this and then potentially turn this, like, I mean, move this one down. Tail up. Tail-up behavior is still kind of bad here. I mean, as long as we can knock it to the... Knock it to the left by one, it's nice, but... Is it really going to happen? Am I not wasting a turn good enough? There we go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I, I love how I was just instinctively, like, drawn to pushing the dot down. Um, anyway, where the where's my... There's my blue. Okay. We have another thing at height, and is there a fence here? That thing is just going to cut over here, but not on the other side. That's a no. Oh, that's fine. So just this is just not knocking this to the left, I see. And we have cursed stuff going on here. Was well, this Ouroboros time? But Ouroboros is not going to be good here. The, the amount of fences is very concerning around here, because I'm scared that the solution is literally going to use them all. And you can probably eat here, okay, then just move it there. And what's the issue? 
I mean, we might not be able to reach it if we try this one. Whoops. And it's some... Uh oh Hmm. So again, I kind of forgot this detail, but when you try to tail up, you also want to have the other side blocked. Except that causes fence break full. I don't know. Hmm. I'm also scared that there's going to be a new tactic that doesn't involve tail up at all. Are we Ouroboros thing? This is a question I've wondered, and we are at the magical Ouroboros number. Like, that just happens to be a thing. Right? I swear we're at magical Ouroboros number. Oh, we're not. Okay, okay. That that closes down um, ideas, which is good. Because I was worried I would need to do that to rearrange what this looked like. Because, like, maybe I want a horizontal version of this, right? In that case, I would need to modify some and, and flip in some ways to cause the... Not really. No, bad flip. No, all I want is a is to turn into a horizontal cut. I mean, that might not be possible. Like, that's definitely still true. Oh, okay, that makes... Okay, well, now I have a horizontal. This should be just a better situation than before, right? Wasn't I blocked by horizontal? You know, something else that comes to mind is that if I could make one of those snakes that was vertical, what I mean is like this situation in World 7 where I had the thing poking up if I could have that, this that would also work here. Wait. I forgot tail up happened before. I literally just forgot. <laughs> tail up happens before fence break. I mean, I would still like to push this to the left, but that's not happening with, um... Well then, just, just move it here. Just move it here then. Okay, and then push it left. This seems highly suggest... Doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. Oh, it seems highly suggest... It doesn't work. Snake clipping. Also, I just noticed this is nothing to do with the puzzle right now, but there's like random bridges on the floor because because there's meta puzzle things that are going to happen. <laughs> no way. Ugh. That means we got to like put this crap here and then something here as well. That's very likely to be the case. Oh my gosh. Help. I mean, I could serve as a hint. In, in some way that oh we can do it like this well then i'll just do it on my first try <laughs> okay i i thought about starting the tail up from here there we go oh don't lose it and you can go on here and well that that just looks highly designer intended doesn't it okay well hmm. i'm worried about not having the length needed for this and plus we're going to need to eat this and then bring it back up um Sure. Like you, no, you could do. No, you can't. Kind of can't. I mean, I'm trying. Maybe like it's a different one. Just trying to see my other options here. That doesn't look that great either. And I mean, we do have this fence, and the fence here is highly sus suspect. Like, are we really just gonna do this and become a three-length snake? I guess so. Ow. And then we gotta eat, and then bring it back up to the surface. Then okay that will get us the ending but let's not let's not let's not we can break this apart into a um this is a four and a two and we really need a three so this snake needs to be totally broken i think and then we, but then we need to do something that or no we, we established or is not possible in this level and you turn this snake into a into two three length snakes to do the meta puzzle here oh i probably okay um probably don't cut this off yet i need to i will use it you can't use it for anything maybe <laughs> like i was hoping that you could be able to do this and then eat and then turn and then that somehow causes a cut into a three length snake but i don't see how to do that right now Hey, wait, can't you just, like, move, go from here to here directly? <laughs> well, I mean, the real problem is actually not that. The real problem is when you do this, you are you need to be the one to be pushing it. Which is a problem if you actually want it to lead somewhere, right? Wait, okay, if that's true, that means this thing probably needs to get knocked down, but not immediately into the goal. There. Okay, that extracted it, and we can use it. <laughs> mm, there we go, okay. Well, okay, and now we break this down into its parts. 
to so we are actually doing threes which is funny because i thought we weren't just for a slight moment um i guess it would be kind of mean to oh they flash it'd be kind of mean to troll in a meta puzzle okay so there we go we form bridges on these and these and then we win by ourselves right here I really just have the cursor on screen for the whole time. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> anyway, we've set up the bridges for the later meta puzzle. We're going to need to freaking can over this, right? All right. So now we have this. Oh, I love when things are obstructed by trees. Okay, what's this? Looks like we need to get above again. Mm. We're not forced to eat any of those. Okay, so we need to get up. And the final is... It's too... It's too beneath us. Wait. No, there's a... Oh, that's a subtle cut. There's a cut right here. So we need to be here and this. What? That's true. Weird. Okay, so that... What, what does that mean? Like, this needs to go up and above? We've never, like, ascended a, a piece before. And I'm worrying that, like... It might really be difficult to get it to happen. It's never happened in the main game that you can ascend one of these and like truly actually ascend it to the to a higher level. So that's worrying. This this level pack, uh, this custom world has managed to find a way to do that when the main game couldn't. I just spent the last like five minutes staring. Like it's it's even worse by the fact that you could probably like use stuff to craft different pieces because we happen to have this piece here like is it wrong for me to think this puzzle could be literally anything <laughs> great ah uh, just more complexity for the road <laughs> i don't know put it there do, do you do like a tail up in this situation with a another piece in it i guess that's what we can do i don't know like, I mean, this is a place where anything could possibly be combined here. Like, my current idea is to try to tail up into that hole. Like, if there's anywhere that you would tail up and then flip your tail into a hole, it would be here. Don't ask me what the two dots are for. Like, maybe it's a sign that what each dot is for corner piece and the other dot is for you, maybe. Woo, tail up spot. I mean, does... That really does not explain that much. This doesn't even flip right. Like, the funny thing is I could just move this down and here because I have so much room. But I don't know if it's good. Okay, I guess we're so cartoonishly massive that we can just get this out of here. <laughs> sure, I guess. World's freest tail up. Um, not that it explains anything. I gotta say, if this requires more... Um, crafting, worm crafting, uh, then it's that much more unlikely I'll be able to get it. Okay, new bad ideas. We're gonna flip it. We're gonna flip it again. Oh, shoot. Well, that didn't go well. Okay, what if we go down here instead and then try to flip it below? Because the whole idea is freedom. Not the MCN. But just in the hope that we can tail up during... A possession. No. I tried a bunch of flips over here. Like, I put a bunch of dots here. And this tail application just seems bad. Right, let's try a different tail up spot over here. So, I hope that once I do this, I get to see what I was missing out. Nope. Come on. Poke. Poke. Okay. We've managed to find a place where some stuff can fit. So this is a way to get above. And let's check out our length, by the way. We are way too long. What? 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 What the? One of these fences is not secretly too high, right? I just realized we are way, like... We are too long to fit in the small side of this one. I guess if I had minus two length, that would be fixed, though. Yeah, I didn't make snake to be cyan, because why not? Like, I don't know. I'm just trying to make things work, I guess. One thing that like I I like about this configuration here, well, if it didn't get trapped down here, uh, yeah, okay, hold on. The thing I like about this is that you can make cuts, but more importantly, because this is inside a thing, you can turn it from facing below to facing up. 
I just need to do this and this, right? Now, even with that, there's still a lot unanswered. Like, like what is all the other stuff in the level? And should I be breaking these into more dots for me? But, like, the fact you can make this is pretty good, right? Now, it occurs to me you can make even more cursed things happen if, like, pressing up from here theoretically moved you into the snake and upwards. Ugh. The worst part is, like, even though I have this, I don't think this is the piece that actually goes into there at the very end. As a sanity-preserving measure, I'm going to cut these into dots and eat them now. Oh, shoot, this dot, the dots are stuck at the top. I, I really hope that the time I spent trying kind of shows... Okay, this basically just shows the solution entirely. And, of course, this isn't, like, the same rotation. And I don't even know where the dots are. Where did they go? I mean, but you can see how that would fit in here already. So, what? there's no way you just eat the dots, right? Yeah. So, flip this here, and then this up upwards. I'm glad that the... Like, the snakes are generally the same way as they are, like, when you start. Because you, you don't have to have a corner and a two-piece. But I'm glad that the level started with it is, like, kind of a hint of what you're supposed to be doing with it. Um, still, though, I need to get turned again. There you go. So, then this flips upwards. Like, although the inside is a massive hint to the setup, that was the part I was dreading the most, and like, since I've already made this procedure, it just went smoothly now. So you did this and then rotate it to the left. Oh my gosh, even doing that's a pain. Here, get out of here. So it looks like this is a way I could get a tail up here. Um, I don't completely remember what the insight looked like, but... I remember eating this, right? Okay, so... In hindsight, that was a flip point. That was designed as a flip point from this to here. And then I think this is pushed down. Okay. Okay. So that needs to be one below. Like here. Eat that. Push this to the Up and to the right, actually. Then flip here. Hmm. So I can get pretty high, like over here. But that's not what I want right now. Oh, I've actually recovered myself on the on the wall. I mean, I can push down and have it rest on top of this. Damn, damn. Okay. Gosh. I only wish the possibility of space for this level wasn't so large. But it is a really... Like, that's insane. that You can just get a piece to another level like that. That's just so good. Alright, and we have this door to unlock then. We should have enough. Oh, three? Okay. Okay, then. There's a, That is too... Oh, no, no, no. That's too high, isn't it? It's like... It, this is not a normal one high overhang. That's a too high overhang. How did you make this happen? Uh, okay. So I can have this dot. Do I want it eaten now? I mean, this is a forced move. Can't go around. And, hmm. I kind of want to eat it. I mean, I can do that and kind of ride it, maybe? Like, do I push this dot down or something? I'm really confused about this level. Like, maybe I turn it right into a fence. Oh, wait. Um, oh my gosh. Can I fence break? Or, well. Okay, you can fence break in this level, which is good to know. Or you could tail up, maybe. Yeah, I can't think of anything else to do, so... <laughs> we just... We just went underneath it? Ah, yes. Wow, what is this? We've never seen this either, right? It's just... It's something floating on a base, basically. Crap, I, now I need to be cut, though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Someone cut this into, like, um, or flip this. You can just do this, and then, oops. And hopefully if you turn this around, you can fit this in here. There we go. Wow. Okay, next level. That The tree is really blocking the visual of that. 
Okay, there is no more dot here, so there's no tail up opportunity. Well, maybe there is. Now this looks like a palm tree. Or, I don't know. No, it really doesn't. But anyway, like we have the opportunity to make more dots perhaps from here. What's going on on this side? Like, it's just supposed to make a bridge or something? We need to be four sides of the end. Therefore, we really do need to eat a dot eventually. Or we cause some sort of fence break somehow. This is so high up. Maybe we don't do that. I mean, maybe it's just like this. And, like, that gives us an opportunity to flip this elsewhere, which is good. Hmm. What? There was nothing... There was never anything below the fences in this game. <laughs> no, why? How is it not enough? You suck. You suck. Who needs to cause a fence break here? Go away. I don't even see a solid wall to really make this happen. I mean, maybe it's a tail up to add another dot below. Like, if you... It probably cuts from below as well, but... I mean, it's still a little dependent. Okay, we could do this, and then tail up in here. Maybe this will... Yes, it does cut, but the, the other thing is, though... Oh! That's all we needed, okay. <laughs> Very nice. And we have a puzzle here. Gotta say, the one unpolished thing is the cameras in this world so far, but that's basically all. Like, the 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 oversized height is just amazing. Like, that's something I'd wish Can of Wormholes did, and I'm so happy that it's actually here. Okay. I mean, I can put this on the ground and then start moving with it. This seems not correct, though. And what is this? We are one off from there, therefore we need to cut, and we need a horizontal. The... This solution thing is very strange. Don't know why it's these in particular. Yes, I can ferry some of these over. Kind of limited in length, I guess. Oops. It seems like it's working so f Ow. You know, sacrifice one, but it's not a good idea. Yeah, it can make cuts. Hmm. So, is this piece ever going to be used for anything than attempting to move stuff over? I can cut, I can tail up. And I know that I move one of those in kind of a trash zone. Eh, that, that's pretty bad. Hmm. Ow. I'm not sure the tail up is going to be used here. I do know that, like, if I brought this up to the surface, then I could use, like, the, the lower part down here and then put it in here. Um... Like, that would be an alternative, I guess, to just making another horizontal bit of the snake. The interesting doesn't eat the, um, doesn't try to eat the other dot. So we could tail up here. It also, like, the tail up behavior only makes much sense when, well, can't you move this part to here, though? I don't I'll try to get the tail up, but it might not be needed. I do notice, though, this edge is, like, a little wider. So it might not... Well, I can just go all the way around, right? Okay. This doesn't... This does not answer everything. Because... Oh, we can survive there. That's nuts. Um, this does not answer everything, though. Because we still need these pieces to come over here. Um, yeah. It's dumb that I'm going to do the same thing as before with sacrificing one of these. Because I don't see why we would need both. Although I'd like to ride this below... There seems to be nothing wrong with doing that. Can I write it to the right, though, after doing this? Uh, problem. Well, I can push it this way. Okay, hmm. Well, it's now on this side now. Let me move it here. I mean, I'm sure I'll be rudely awakened in case, like, I do, in fact, need the other for something. But all right, we can do a tail cut here. Not a tail. Well, we can do a tail up here. Okay. Okay. So, why wouldn't I just do this? I do this, move it up. <laughs> it's so ridiculous looking. Um, and then, tr oh. Hmm. You, well, you can tail up here, but can you bring it back? You can pr put it on top of you, which is fun. I mean, like, I guess the idea must be that you get a dot here or something. And then what? If from this position, your tail somehow goes and pushes it. Um, I can probably use this to help. 
Why is it so hard to move you down? There, go around the corner. I mean... Still not gonna actually go on there. Well, I noticed when you do this, if the dot was just on that square, we would get it, so... Eh? Let's try this. Well, we've got- we recovered it from the bottom, so... Well, there we go. Looks like we did actually have to sacrifice one of the two pieces down there. That's a nice level as well, like, dang. Alright, next one. We're playing as this. Wow, there's not much going- there's not even a fence in this level, that's nuts. Um, but it does seem like we want to get this over the ga- Huh? Um, okay, this is not, I mean, we can't eat it from below. Wow, this is strange. There's no fences, and yet, well, okay, okay, I can recover and put it here. Uh, huh, that flips it from whence, uh, from the beginning of the level, but doesn't help the fact that they're not really on the platforms that it wish to be on. Hmm. I put it here, eat from here, and then... Yes! Wow! Okay, there we go. I wonder if we're gonna get two high walls or something. Oh, next one. Okay. We're here. So we got a fence, and, um... We, this is directly connected to something above, of course. Hmm. And try to bring it below, but that doesn't seem great. Like, I don't think it's gonna be possible to make a false tail up with that. And we have how much to work with. We have a four-length snake plus this, which is, I believe, four length as well in total. We're almost in here looking like a snake. I mean, Stephen sausage roll. I mean, you could do this, and then you get a horizontal back. Is that what you freaking want? I don't know. I wouldn't think so. But then what other place would you, like, possess that from? Is there, like, nowhere good to do that? Well, I do know that, like, the levels... I mean, previous levels have shown before that you can recover a piece. Yep, just like that. So you can switch it. Um, I don't know if we re-switch it or something. Uh, hmm. What does that allow? Eat this again? I mean, what we really want, I think, and the, this is the main problem with levels, that we actually want to cut ourselves into two slices of two or something. Because currently we cannot contribute to winning the level. And I can do this, and then rotate it yet another time. Oh dear, okay. Not only that, but is it possible to... No, I don't think we can stand on it. But, I mean, hey, at least we got this in a way that's out now. Um, no... And there's more complexity if we want to do that and try to tail up. Puzzle games most recommended for amateurs trying to practice telepathy. Oh crap, I forgot you. <laughs> During that, you need another worm to try to switch it to an actual usable state. I realize I just turn it around again here. Like, <sighs> how many twists and turns do we need? I, mean, I just found if we do this. It was on the roof. <laughs> why? When? But when? But why? But why? Why would I want this? All I wanted was to turn myself into twos. Okay, I've reset after the first flip. Like, you can cut right here. And I don't know, maybe that's interesting because we can then, like, recover it. So then we have the dot, and I hope that the dot, like, is better than, like, not having it. You can do that. And then you end up with like two dots at the end. Hmm. You meant to like eat it from... I don't know. I don't know where you would eat it from. So, I was thinking about pushing this over. <laughs> and I was like, wow, it just... It gets a vertical to the other side. But that's actually bug behavior. Because we're just... We're penetrating a worm from the back, shall we say. And yeah, this is not intended. This is a bug that we are inside the freaking worm like this. And that's like falling through the worms. That's not allowed, that's not good. Interestingly, we can make this flip though. Oh, there's so many rotations I could still make, huh? 
Actually, this is the first rotation you can ever do. Like, it goes from here to here on the first rotation. There's nothing afterwards. Mm -hmm. And you can still cut. I think that's interesting, because, like, we want that, right? We can get the dot, like, on the bridge. We have a chance of becoming a two-length snake. Er, worm. It's actually worm, not snake. I don't care. <laughs> so, okay. Here we go. Okay, I don't know if this is intentional. But hey, it works. So there we go. And there we go. All right, next zone. Oh, I, what? What? All right, well, it looks like we need to get the control room, I guess. This also looks like it's going nowhere. Good job. <laughs> well, then. Okay, what about this? Hopefully, this one's something real. We might as well do the pu- uh, What? Is that a mega branching thing? That's an absolute abomination. Right, and are we going into ring mode? Yes, let's go all around the worm fun house. Why not? And we have um, a worm on top of here. So if I can push to the left twice, I guess that's something good. We probably need another contrived tail up spot or something like that. Like we are a four length snake. So therefore we can tail up here, flip here. And that creates something new. That seemed really intended so far. And we can use this to push stuff. Like, you can push this off, right? No, not really. This is not just attacking to bring another piece upwards, right? There's no way it's only that. So I don't need to cut. I could also just go here normally. And then bring this... Well, try to bring that up. But actually, we're going to get a little bit interrupted here. Weird, because I can go on this and... Oh, I can move it down. Huh. Is that going to be in the way, though? Because it seems like there's a part in there that's in the way. I mean, where else is this going? It's not going down. It's not going right. It's going this way, unless it can get blocked or something. And what is this other too long here for? We can knock this down. Uh, is the plan now to just get a dot now? I guess we can get a dot and recover. try to recover the state we were in before. So it does seem like I can just move this here and then get it pushed to left. Is that all? Because I can just get the same game state as was before with the tail up here. Oh, whoops. That should, that thing that matters. So do that and then push this to left. Okay. And then now I push myself. I mean, I cut myself into a two. Oh, do I not have the space to do that actually? Huh. If only there was a dot below, but that also costs something, obviously. So here, you can in fact cut into more, which means that some of the dots... Well, we're actually we're a four-length snake, so pushing this outwards is a, not easy, which makes it maybe impossible. I mean, being a five-length snake and still cut, that's actually a bad place to cut. Maybe we should go into this road again. I can't imagine putting this in is going to help. Even if I did get it, like, it would cut off into a single dot. And we don't need an extra dot at that point. We'd like a negative dot. So, yeah, you can push it. I'm really wondering if I can get on top of the walls with a lower length than 4 to 5. Like, that push isn't good. But also, if you're lower length, you can't even make this. You can't even reach this, I think. Blah. We can try, guess. I wish we could have something better than these. There's, that's such a bad cut location. I already tried this cut, right? Or maybe I didn't do it from this moment. Because unlike last time, I can actually push it off now. But it's not like I'm confident this is actually useful. We've also gotten this stuck. I guess the use is that we can gain length again. Hold on. Wait, I can put it on top of the worm. I can't really carry it though, which is a little sad, but we haven't really had this kind of situation. This could be good, but I can't seem to figure out a way to move this down. You know, I might have... Now I take a look at this two snake here. You can't actually do something with it. I don't know why, but if you were two lengths, you could push left from here and get it to activate. But we've got many situations where we we're two lengths, so we should try that more. I don't know if I just should knock that down normally or anything special. Let's try it with this cut. 
because I can push here, use the secret, then leave and push it back. Oh, but I can't. I cannot return. So if it's a stack, then we must use the stack idea. Let's use this and bring it out. Er, uh, I admit the one thing I'm confused about is you can't move this slight. I cannot move the thing on the top. So, maybe we need to maneuver to push this from the left side. Literally the only reason this is bad is because it gets stuck to the wall. And I can't push it down anymore. Dude. The solution, it's way closer than you think. This is actually incredible. We can cut thi <clears throat> this. This isn't stuck to the wall anymore. We can do this. Ah, oh, that's so good. And then move this away. Okay, we got the stack. I'm not sure I can do this with a three-length snake. I think I can, though. Okay. And that, um... Wait, no, that pushes both. No, no, don't push both. Uh-oh. <laughs> no. Hmm. Where did I go wrong? It's that this isn't pushing to the max distance. I'm at the point where I want to be cut away from a three-length snake now. Okay, we should just find a way to cut ourselves as a three-length snake. All right, there we go. Nice. I think that's everything for real. We go here. So, yeah. Now we're two length. Push left and left again. Oh, all right. Next one. Um, that's a big gap and we need to get two worms on it. Seems like we have some ability to maybe self-propel or whatever. Because we have this stuff going on. If possible, I would like to use this and like, cause we have three two length snakes like that. So if one of them is like this, hmm, I was really hoping I'd be able to keep that stack of snakes, uh, stack of worms, uh, failing to get on top of the snake there. So I'll probably have to rely on a behavior similar to this, which I can push as far as possible. <clears throat> the difficulty will be keeping them all. Hmm. So if I stack this, and then that below, and then here we have a little bit of a motion machine going on here. It doesn't last as long as I think. Thinking about it a bit more, I think I have the motion machine, but I'm not going to draw it. There's no point in doing that. I'm just going to make it. Unfortunately, I'm not feeling all that surprised. I don't know. It's hard to get a reaction for something that kind of just popped in your head fully finished. I guess assembling it is all is not that easy though. I want it to be hanging off the edge a little bit. So like here, here, and then the two height is on here. With the one with this piece dropping. Yes, look at that. So what we have here is I like how I said I'm not gonna draw it, but I end up drawing it anyway. But that's basically how it looks from the side. Uh like the the underground level is here, and the double height is pushing these. So there we go. I should totally not draw web comics. And well, anyway, we're gonna need to fix the two height now. Okay, it's all done. Hey. Oh, what do we have here? I think that's 12. That's gotta be. Let's do go do that control ship and meta. Wait, how long is this actually? <laughs> uh, all right. Well. That, come on, the, couldn't we pick an orientation that blocks less of the view of what's going on underneath there? I think those are just regular two-by-ones, though. That looks like one of the puzzle currency icons in this game. So, I mean, we have all this stuff we can tail up a bunch of times, probably. Although, an somewhat annoyingly, it also seems like we might need to get something above due to there being a two-by-one target. It's supposed to... Take this and... Well, I just realized, like, the, the... Where the hell did it go? That is really cursed. You can't see it from back there. Yeah, I think I'm trying to possess, but it's not useful. It's going to bump into the wall. Okay. Seems like we need to do gamers rise up. I mean, worm rise up. And actually, the tail location is enough where if I tail up on here, I get to move this upwards and maybe bring a worm up. So that's nice. We'll need to make a cut, though. So that's a little too much. I'm concerned where I'm going to be flipping afterwards though, because I, I do this, but I do want to recover it. 
so like that. <laughs> ah, yes. Phase is hiring. Uh, I mean, I guess I use the other dot. Hopefully that's enough. And what's the length of this? Oh, no. I'm gonna be... I'm gonna have to be a shorter length snake myself to get into the final goal correctly. Yes, good cut. I guess. I should be gonna reach it now. So, it's like here, and then we... Hmm, that's, that's failing at getting into the hole, I gotta say. Um... Okay, that looks like it's good. Okay, so we're on top of this now, and what we want to do is have this... Mm, we, uh, Yeah, I was worried about that. We don't seem to have enough to get on top of their good. I guess I just hope that other worm is good enough to fill all the gaps. So... Here... Oh, that looks like... what? The, mm, that doesn't look really right, but okay. And I can move this... And here, and here, and here. Well, this looks this looks great so far. I mean, yes, I do fall, but I can just get back up for free. So, there you go. Nice to have a level that finally feels more freeing. Okay, this should go, and... Ow. Ow. Well, anyway. Back it up, and we should be good to go. Oops. Um, here, up here, out. And there we go! Control room should be pretty close. So, this is the control room. I mean, it has to be, because we only have two puzzles left. Why does this ship have connections? I mean, unless there's another ship hiding here, which I don't think it is the case. That connection might be onto itself, which is an amazing idea. If I can make it happen anyway. Um... <laughs> Overworld Ouroboros, kind of. Not quite. Uh, and we, we're gonna need to mess with the curves in a way that lets me do the two other puzzles as well. Oh my gosh, it just works. How the main game never do this? <laughs> okay, so I will need to curve these in a way where I can access the puzzle. I guess I can access this one now. Okay. So this puzzle we have here, we can cut ourselves, or do we ring? Looks like we ring out. So we need to become a ring, aka be one length, like that. But we also need to access the bottom in a good way now. Hmm. How would you go about doing that? I mean, just drop it? Dropping it just seems too simple for this pack, right? Hmm... And I can't completely rule out tail up, fence break, all that stuff. Mm. I don't know how to interpret this puzzle. Mm. I mean, luckily for me, it's pretty small. It looks like it would also be a good thing to get a cut on the far end. Because if I can use this fence and then cut there, that might also work. As long as we have dots below, at least. It's just a matter of doing it. We can do that, move this down, and um, if I gain length from here, is it good? I'm just gonna move all this stuff out of the way, I guess, to gain my length back. Yeah, getting length back is hard. Fine, I guess I'll sacrifice this. I mean, with this amount of length, can I, I need to check, like, if it's just possible to push this here, and then push back. Um, is this hard? I want to be able to do this, and then cut myself onto here. This is the wrong approach. Another thing is that if you got rid of everything, like, we have enough to get to the Ouroboros number, which is 8. You could imagine, like, an Ouroboros right here, and then cutting, and somehow that works out, and we can get over here. But that would require a gap in the, like, a cut here, which I don't know about. That doesn't seem entirely possible. No, it's interesting, <clears throat> from the start of level, we can go here, dot, and then another thing there. So you could set up your little tail up fence break there if you wanted to for some reason. Then get back like that? I don't know. But every move I do is actually something that modifies the state space a lot. You just want to get an easy tail up. Is that too hard? Maybe it's supposed to use the behavior where it can travel from ring to a dot, but not immediately turn into a longer snake. 
And the problem is I don't have that much room to do that with the amount of currency I have. I say currency like the length is a currency, which is true, but still. And there are issue <clears throat> issues with getting the top dot down below. I can't actually go in here and change into a dot. It's only that I want to go and recover and then turn those back into undots later is the thing. I guess I just pick the- Whoa, don't, don't do that. Pick these up. Just want to turn most of these into dots. Like, the behavior I want to do is, like, notice that these are- Like, I can just travel between the dots fine. It's only when I escape when something different happens. I mean, <laughs> is this curved piece used? Doubt. So, I feel like it's just better to put this down. And then, with regards to this, we go over here. Cut into a two again. And that two actually want further in, so... Hmm. And I want to cut that into an individual dot. Or I guess it's horizontal. It doesn't even look good. Here, I just want the dots. How do we get a three dot out of the way? Here. Three dot. Cut again. Three dot. <clears throat> now back up into position. Ow! <laughs> oh no! Ah. Splitting dot blade of death. So I actually think I need to have a dot up there. Like I need to push this. Honestly, in my opinion, most of this level is just seemingly dealing with the issue with dot placement. But here, here's a tail up. I don't know what to do with this. Like I like how it was complimenting the crampness and like that it reduced the state space. And now it's just actually being a huge pain. La. We should at least proof of concept this. Like, if I do that, I can tail up and then mount. But that's not the full story here. I want to cut, right? Okay, that's made a cut. Into a 3D snake that has a vertical part. I want to ring onto that, right? It means I need a dot to do it. And maybe there, I guess. Except I don't want it to fall. Okay, so then that extra dot is nice. So I can get on top of it, hopefully. I push it, get on top. Now I probably need another dot as well. I think this piece needs to cut into dots and then be used. Because that might not be the right length. But okay, we can do this. Go in here. That dot's preventing me from cutting. How? I don't know. Alright, let's do this. That got pushed in place. No! Can we not? Please... Extra dot, don't bother. Okay. Here, we want to cut into that larger snake. Get it out. Without pushing that. It's the actual look is like... Here. I'm going to be a slightly longer snake, I think. But I want to be here, and one of the dots needs to be, like, safe as well. Oh, I need to push this dot to the right. That's not even... well... I'm I'm just gonna cut here so I can get this dot and then push it. That dot existed so that I could go in here. Um No, I, I need to make the two dots here, right? No, really? <laughs> I'm getting hit. Okay, so I, I just I just need to flip that underneath, maybe. So do I just ignore that dot now? I just put it here. Okay, then I do the same thing with the dots as I did here. Hopefully that's enough, but... Okay, there we go! It... You see how the snake was still sitting on the ground? Yes! Oh my gosh. Well, the possibilities are a little too endless. So, we need to also rotate the ship in a way where this doesn't bonk. Did we not, like, unlock the bell for this or something? Okay, so if we rotate the snake like this on the overworld, we can't access this level. Point to here and, and okay that's the level we're going oh my gosh the level is so big that it causes weird things to happen on the border uh okay what is this this is a big machine i guess we could try to be riding on top of it uh-huh <laughs> okay we we don't have the length to get in there no well no we need to be a ring in there that is clearly um, even though there's, it's hard to get in this corridor, that area still feels like it's designed for you to be a ring. AKA one length, similar to the previous level. 
and we have one cutter here. Unfortunately, it's possible to move this down and, you know, do some magic tricks with it. Yep. And that, and the fact you can cut it increases the possibility of space a lot. And you could poss possibly tail up in here. Oh, it can be a ring. <laughs> well, this level's terrifying. You can even tail up into the nook in here. I bet on the left dial you need to do some cursed mega flip to get to the left side and actually be able to connect to the snake. Whoop, we got dot. No, that's not useful. You can tail up and it's not even that's a glitch that's heading in there and not moving it up, I think. That wasn't originally stuck to the wall. I can fix that. I I this is too ridiculous. Something interesting in those is like there's this notch in the middle. And, it, and this part of the stake is still floating on ground level, which means that I could, if I was slightly longer, I could go in and then eat this part. It's definitely weird you can get to ground level with that, but I can't seem to do anything with it right now. Like, you can split it, which might allow you to split the two parts. Now, I'm not trying to say something dumb and obvious there. I'm trying to say that maybe those can synergize, like, you did this and then pushed it back again. You can stock it onto that, is what I was trying to show. The problem is, like, as is what I would expect, trying to flip this is tough and impossible right now. And I can go over here and get one dot and then turn into a ring from here. Is that relevant at all? I don't know, this doesn't have the whole... This doesn't use anything useful. I can't even get in there. If anything, I kind of want to be like the U-shape only. Like, don't you see there's a U-shape here? That's the kind of shape that would like fit this somewhat. Uh, it'd be cheese if this works, right? Like, what am I doing really? I think I'm trying to flip here and then flip upwards. So now I'm blocked if I try to move there, which is good for what I'm trying to do. Yeah, there's a small tunnel behind here, but okay. Um, flip and try to flip up is what I'm gonna do. Uh, here, here, and get out. Get no! Wait, can, can I just do it down here instead? Flip, flip. Okay, so we got that. And that's something that I could repeatedly flip if I was able to. It'd be like here, and then I would try to flip this over and over again, but I would need some hole or a way to fill the bridge and the gap. I, I don't know. I mean, it's certainly interesting, like, it, it goes inside there, but doesn't last, really. Maybe this is a better flip. I could still make this flip. Oh, I guess I can't cut as well, huh? One other thing is, I drew, like, I, I'm trying to back solve from imagining the shape. I'm currently not even offset correctly for it to work. Like, the cut is literally wrong here, and that probably means the entire structure is different. Which, I mean, I kind of would guess, but... Oh my gosh, this could be anything. Do I actually need to end in a ring? I mean, it sure looks like this is a ring puzzle because you go in there as a one length, become two length and win. But you could also try to cut yourself into a two length here. The most I can think of currently, I have a five length snake because that's how much I, can, I was able to horizontally try to cut. But if we could tail up, get on the wall and use this, which seems like an ultimate um, boat tool, I guess. I'm just looking for tail-up spots, maybe here. This would require a little bit of sacrifice. Mm. Okay, there's a tail-up. No? It's a little problem with not enough length, huh? So we can put this all the way here, I think. That'll add, like, a wall at the end. Unfortunately, after this, it's in the way. There's a- this piece at the bottom's in the way now. Maybe five isn't the correct amount? Okay, this idea is dumb doesn't work either, because you lose your tail up here. Okay, look at this. This is going to work, I think. You get a real close look. So what I have here is a way to tail up, move this down, get in, and there we go. I've now put my tail underneath, and now I can use this. I, I really hope I can. Oh, I just fell, didn't I? Hopefully this is not too out of the way. It's a little hard to see what the hell is happening. Is this to move down now? Of course, without me falling as well. It's it's so hard to tell the difference between different heights now. 
Can I actually not make it to the other side? Yes, I can. Okay, then just move down and then... Okay, I can, in fact, move on to here. Not exactly going on the correct direction, though. This is nothing but a way to move right, which is not the greatest... Oh, up. Oh, well, there we go. Up is not the best... Well, no, don't know what I'm saying. Obviously, I'm trying to do this in order to move to the left, and I'm pretty sure I can. I have an infinite left machine, thanks to the Wonder Boat snake right here. Doop. 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 Okay, we're here. Unless these walls are higher than I thought. That's a four cut, obviously not good. <laughs> Don't ring there. Like, there's so many possibilities. I, I am going here just because I think there at least one is all I need. Well, here we go. And here we are. That's 15 of 15. Let's check the insight to make sure, like, what I did. Was that cheesing the level? Ring? Oh my gosh, this was the intended? <laughs> yeah, it looks like a spinning question mark. That's amazing. I don't know when I could have got this to happen, but... Damn, that survives on both rotations. Anyway, I have no damn clue how to apply that insight to this level, so we're just gonna head to the meta puzzle. Hey, there's an extra puzzle added to this. So yeah, there didn't used to be this, but there's an update now that adds, like, meta puzzle elements. I'm gonna set this up, by the way. As you can clearly see, this is going through here and through the door, so you can't throw here. Oh, hey, it's all... <laughs> the new update changed even these. It's the Ice Edition now. Well... Can't seem to throw a can here. Oh, it's the it's the trick that I found my own playthrough that the main game never did. Uh, it is... I'm, I'm just gonna do it now because I already know, but... Nope, hold on. Well, I mean, you can try to throw the can normally, but it doesn't fire in the right place. Okay, seemingly that's not the trick. So, I had another idea about, like, the way the game stores your position if you're like on here go back to the menu and you know press continue you're like here for some reason <laughs> i mean i can't throw anything so it isn't as useful as a... does that work no oh dear Lama what what just happened? What if I change this so that it, like, tries to connect to itself from here? Maybe the way the things work out is just better this way? Definitely makes the situation way more pleasant to look at. But you can go here. Exit to the menu. Go back. And well, you're still here, unfortunately. That ricochet behavior was only for palm trees, right? Not like I could hit the side of the door and ricochet. You know, there is an image here. I love how there's a custom image for the trick in a custom level pack. But in this one, I... <laughs> Wait, what? Throw. Throw worm. Throw worm, but farther. Okay, somehow the mechanic that is used here, somehow it's just as cursed as diagonal can throwing, or that weird thing with clipping into the wall, which I did get spoiled on, unfortunately. But I don't think anyone would have interpreted that image as being in the air instead of being farther away. But anyway, here is what it is. You throw... Actually, it's gonna be easier to show off here. So, I throw and shoot. Notice that those rings that I threw went really far. When normally, they like, not really even go one screen's length. That's the idea for this one. Oh, see, one of them got really close to the goal. I don't think anyone will interpret that image the correct way, but here we go. <laughs> Alright, why not? There's the bridge. Okay. Uh, we were okay. We were almost totally stuck at the start. Uh, hmm. This blue color is way better than the mid-tier blue in the official can of Wormholes endgame. So it looks like we have a clear tail up going on here. 
in one of these two locations. But I'm going to need to find a way to get this dot out of here. Uh, not dot. Get this out of here first. I guess it's a flip that cuts the worm that I already have. Problem is, I can't... Like, that doesn't look that great. After all, I need to, I need to cut it yet another time as well. I'm sorry to doubt I'm going to have the ability to tail. How, wait, how do you tail up here? No, you need to tail up elsewhere. And what, like, this can never fall or something? Because if this falls, then you can't just push it to the goal. Hmm. Do you get the feeling that maybe you just get a too high snake? Just push it to the left. But you would still need to tail up and do that process to have that happen anyway. Oh, to just get a dot in, the, in a much more family-friendly way. Where does the dot get put anyway? Here? That doesn't go into a... That needs to go into the hole after it flips. Don't think we have that right now. Well, I guess if the game's naturally given worm isn't good enough, you make your own. Never mind, I think I just realized... No, you don't put the dot on the second row. You do it on this row. Which gives you a place to put it here. Okay. Now we can do... Now we can do this. Okay. Good. That, that looked very intentional to me. So now we can use this piece... And, um, well, I think we flip it upwards. Doesn't make sense. What? That's not great. Either I'm moving this upward and trying to fix it, or I need to, like, spend a dot there or something. Oh! Well, okay, we just skipped directly to making a double. I didn't even have to cut it later or anything like that. I mean, it's still not perfect. Be well, I can use my body halfway, right? During the push. Yeah? Okay, I can use some, use some body for this. Well, a little bit. Like, I'm obviously I'm worried that it's going to stop at some point. Because, like, from here it gets awkward to push. Okay, and then- Oh! Okay, I don't know why I was paranoid. I, I guess I thought for so long that this piece would just be, like, here, here, and two on this. That it would get blocked from falling. But nah. It's there, just that, and there we go. And yeah. Where did that go? It went through the floor and... <laughs> okay, there we go. And that is all the puzzles in this custom world of can of wormholes. Like, it really is golden. I mean, it, there's so much. It's such a great game where, like, there's so many cool tricks that still remain even after the entire main game. I'm not sure I'm going to do more customs. There in fact are others that showcase cursed tricks. But yeah, see ya. Bye.